What's up everybody, Kwame here, and I want to do a quick video because one of my favorite pieces of software got updated today, uh, actually got updated a couple of days ago, and that's, uh, as you can tell by the description, Topaz Labs Sharpen AI. They've made the, sh the, the program just overall better. I don't know how it works, I don't know the secret sauce of what they're doing, but this is really cool, and I want to show you uh, what I like some of the things that I like about the new update. Now this update is free for people who already have the uh, app. So if you already own it, it should update on its own. If you don't, you can download the app and you can try it out. So let's jump to the computer and show you what is new here. So you can see here the interface and everything looks the same. I imported these three pictures to kind of show you what's new. And I have auto update preview turned off. I will say these, I'm just showing three pictures on here. I will have 10 pictures on my website. I will have a before and after of each one. So 20 pictures total. Head on over there. I have a link down below in the description. You can go to, straight to that post and see the before and after of each image. You can zoom in um, and take a look at the, at the, at the files and all that good stuff. So this first image here is our lab and What's really cool now with the uh, software is if you go to this mask over here, they have this down the uh, what, left corner here, the find objects. And you can see it will find, like in this case, my dog. And it's even picking up the chair, what it thinks of the chair in the background, which is really the couch. But if I click on the dog, oops, take off the chair. I just click on the dog. You can see it makes a mask of our lab. And it does a pretty good job. Like you can see here, it went to the floor a little bit, but that's okay. So if I hit apply mask, now it's going to uh, just apply the 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 sharpening to the dog. So I so I'm also going to. It's going to take a while for this to run on this computer. So I'm going to uh, cut whenever I do like apply the uh, apply the sharpening to an image. I'll just cut it while it's processing and then come back when it's done. So if we hit, uh, I'm gonna hit update. Actually, I hit the wrong thing. We're gonna update the preview here real quick. All right, so now we're back. And like I said before, it did take a while to run uh, on my computer, but it, depending on your computer, like how old it is and all that good stuff, it may run faster or slower. But you can see now the sharpening was just done to our lab here and not the entire picture, which is really nice because there are times where I don't want the whole image sharpened I just want whatever the subject is and the fact that they can find the subject put an auto mask on there do a pretty good job with it right it only messed up this part down here and save it out really cool now I'm not gonna save any of these pictures again they will be on the website uh, just for time sake I'm not gonna save them but uh, it looks really cool it's hard to tell on a video the before and after so again go to the website you will see the before and after so now let's look at this picture down here this is a picture of a, a young ego carrying a fish you can see here and this was taken earlier this year uh, now what's really cool that they've added is these auto um, settings here now they've had them before but I think they're actually better and faster at uh, creating the, you know, automatically uh, suggesting the sharpening and the settings for this image. So I hit auto. Now in this case, it's saying stabilize is the, out of the three functions here, sharpen, stabilize, and focus. Uh, stabilize is the way to go here. And if I hit auto down here, it's saying it's going to suppress the noise and increase the sharpening a little bit from where I at where I had it. So I had it, I think, like 40 or something like that. So if you do that and then you hit update, it's going to run and do the update and look really good. Now again, I won't run these on here. I'm going to say it again just so no one's confused. I'm not going to run them right now on here because of time, but go to the website. I will have a before and after this picture. Again, you can zoom in, take a look at all, you know, if you want to pixel peep, I'm not a pixel peeper, but it, but if you want to pixel peep, it, you can do that on those images. And then also, if you wanted to do a mask on this uh, image, it will find the bird, but it doesn't do a great job, as you can see here, of doing the mask. So I probably wouldn't use it 
on this image here. And then last image, uh, this picture of this hummingbird that I took uh, just this weekend actually. This one is really good. Now again, we're gonna hit the auto for both of them. So in this case, it's saying focus is the one to do. And then for the settings, it increased the sharpness a little bit and decreased the noise suppression quite a bit because there isn't a lot of noise in this picture. And again, I won't hit update on here, but uh, go to the website, you will see the before and after. This is a really good update for Sharpen AI. I, like I said, like this, uh, this program, I've been using it for a little while now, and I'm completely sold on the way that they're able to sharpen an image, but not over sharpen it and look really bad. I think computational photography is gonna play it, work its way into more software. I wouldn't be surprised if Lightroom, Adobe adds this to Lightroom or you know Photoshop. Even I don't use Photoshop that much for sharpening and all, all that usually use Lightroom and then uh, Topaz Labs for sharpening and noise reduction. Now I don't do it on every picture with those plugins, but it is nice to have them for pictures that I really like, like this um, this hummingbird here. This is a picture I really like. I really wanna make sure it looks the best. I open it up in uh, Topaz Sharpen AI. That is such a mouthful. <laughs> open it up in uh, Sharpen AI do what it's do its thing and then save it back into Lightroom. It looks amazing. It looks and it's really good. Also, they're running a sale on Sharpen AI through August seventh, where you can get twenty dollars off. So it's typically seventy nine ninety nine. You can get it for fifty nine ninety nine. You can also find like a fifteen dollar coupon, fifteen percent off coupon, excuse me, and use that. I don't, you know, you can find them out there. Um, and get another nine dollars off so you can pay fifty dollars for the software i think is well worth it i have a link down below where you can go directly and get this uh you know pick it up it is a referral link now i didn't they're not sponsoring this video they don't even know who i am i bought uh the software and they sent a link to me saying hey if you share this you get a referral you get a little kickback so it does help a small channel like me if you guys want to buy something like this again you can get it for $50 if you find a 15% off coupon. I will leave one down below. Again, I have no affiliation with them. It's from another YouTuber, so I'm helping them out. Uh, so I would appreciate it if you are gonna buy it. You know, Use the link down below. I will uh, find that 15% off coupon for you so you can get it for $50 versus $79. So it's a really good deal, I think. Now, I'm not making this video just for the discount or anything like that. I actually really do like this software. I think it does an amazing, amazing job. It has saved several photos that were slightly out of focus or just, you know, older photos that were taken with cameras that just weren't, you know, as sharp or lenses that weren't as sharp as they are, you know, things that I have now. And it's really, you know, it's a really good piece of software and I wouldn't be telling you guys about software or hardware or anything like that if I don't actually use it or believe in it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Again, I will have links for everything down below, you know, images you can look at and links to the, uh, to the software itself. It is a referral link. Again, it helps my channel a lot if you can do that. I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.